the actual season starts in September up to Christmas. That's when all the apples are on. You get like you call early varieties and later varieties. You get what you call bitter sweets and, and bitter sharps and that like. And you want a blend of the, the two really nice. Like. You want an apple when he's ripe. Uh, if you shake them off when they're green and hard, the sugar's not up enough. enough. If you want an apple when he's, you can sort of press your finger into him, like when he's getting softer. As far as I know, I haven't got any apples that people that use sprays or fertilizers. So it is virtually organic. I learned the trade off your grandfather. Like, uh, um, cause I used to help him before I left school when I was about 13, 14 years of age. Like, and then he died when I was about 21, 22, and I took it on from there. Like, and of course, uh, I had I decided to get into a bigger way or get out just making 2,000 gallons a year was enough to get a living in that out of it. Like. Now you got all that rain we had June and July, but I reckon the trouble were we never had enough hot sun to pull it up into the apples. We don't know what other reason can be. Now let's see, oh it's good cider. Another one done. I love me cider. I drink cider every day. I've drunk it all my life. I've been drinking it now for over 50 years, 50, 55 years, I suppose. Never ever been ill or nothing, so I don't know. An apple a day, so I always say drink a gallon of cider a day. <laughs> Keep the doctor away. <laughs> test none of mine, like I just do it all by taste. Uh, I can even taste the apple juice which we press it out and I, I can just try that and taste it and I know where, where it is enough sugar in it or not enough sugar in it. There is more youngsters coming back drinking cider now. Uh, 
about two or three years ago, so the sales dropped down as they were all in on these awful pops and all that. Like, I think that's dying out now. They want to go back a little bit more, drinking a proper pure, pure drink. And, well, cider is the purest drink you can get, really. Cider is purer than what water is what you get out of the tap. At the moment, I got none of the children actually interested in taking on the cider making. I have got a grandson now; he's 12 years old. Hopefully, he might take up an interest in that. Like, it's a pity for it to die out. Good old tradition, and the trouble is, this kind of way you can't make it by the book. Look, you've got to drink it and know what you're doing. <laughs> 